Charisse and Zoe. Fake and fake as fudge. Why are you talking about your cousin and them like that? I ain't got no damn relationship to either one of these people, so I don't have any of my cousins, any of my brothers, my sisters, my nieces, nephews, ain't black, none of that. Black like me. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't got no relationship with these people. Believe that. Anyway, um, welcome to Cliff Alerts. Today we're going to be talking about OWN Network reality-based TV series, Ready to Love, season number six. I guess it's episode five, y'all. <laughs> I guess. But before we get into it, please like, share, and subscribe. Please hit that notification so you know when we upload new content. So here we go. Oh my goodness, yeah, that's, that's for sure. Here we go. And the three guys in particular who were up for possible elimination based on the last episode. LJ, Zoe, and Justice. Right, and the ladies felt that they all were missing in certain categories, so he met with them to alert them that they got to step up their game. Maybe Justice could stop doing the King and I routine, <laughs> because the Kingdom will need some people, so he has to get with one of these ladies. Yeah. LJ need to put aside that island thing. That island. Yeah, the that island no guy. problem man yeah, yeah, running yeah. on his own yeah. uh, club time. For real. And uh, <laughs> Zoe got to be a little bit real. But the only one who stepped up was Zoe. Zoe was as real as they can be. Oh, he got real eyes. Yeah, he did. Real what? Is sure enough. Debatable. But we'll, we'll get into that for sure. So, so they, they had some things. The first one up. Katie invites Zoe, LJ, Justice, Trinika, and Jamala to go go karting. And Sharice, too. One of the oh, fire starters. Okay. She was there as well. Fire starter? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, people are having fun. They're going around the track. Yeah, so was a little aggressive. He he bumped out Trinika. She wasn't happy about that. Who's she? Zo. Zo. And he was talking smack, uh, as it were. Yeah, it's like he was at a NASCAR track. Yeah, he was know, really competitive, for points right? On know. a series, a <laughs> cup series. Yeah, <laughs> like that. Like that. He went in. He damn sure Way did. too far in. He was in deep. <laughs> so um. We see them, you know, coupling up. We see Charisse uh, try to hit up Zo to mm -hmm. find out whether they have a connection. We see that, you mean the one that she says that she's not really interested in because he's boring? Yeah, last week that was a, a, a thing. Oh, he's boring, but I'm going to meet with him anyway. But on, all of a sudden she now wants to find out that she has a connection. Right, and I guess last week was because nephew Tommy asked her to ask right. her the lady to right. kind of go right. do something right. that she right. totally wouldn't do. And mind you, last week when he told her that he had this crazy engagement that he gave a woman a ring, then the next week he took it back. He took it back, back the very next day. Yeah, that's what he said. Mm. She said she, she didn't want to be with a man who was just telling her stuff just because she wanted to hear it. So uh, we're surprised that she wants to ask him whether they have a connection or not. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. Reese is going to play herself. Nika, yeah. uh, Kadian, and Justice met. Sitting at the table, weren't they? And they had a nonsensical interaction. Tanika was there as a, key, a peacemaker between Justice and Kadian. She and, didn't do her job. Well, it was, a, it was a nonsensical situation. Kadian asking the man why he didn't call her. Once a woman opens with, why didn't you call me? It's a non-starter. He is telling her, I didn't call you. Because I ain't checking for you. Because I'm not checking for you. Right. As hard as it is, swallow it and just go about your business. Moving forward, never ask a man why he didn't call you. Kadian didn't... Uh didn't get that memo for one and two. She had two behind it. Yes, yeah, she had an attitude and he had a little chewed with it. So it was a back and forth. And at one point he realized how silly it was. And she was getting angry because of his, his off-putting attitude and vibe. Mm -hmm. Leave a man alone. He's not interested. Yeah, but then again, then again, though, I think he was kind of messing with her at the of end of it. Because he asked her, can I but have a hug? Can I have a hug? 
And she's like, oh, hell to the never, ever, ever. I'm telling I you. mean, Therese was meeting with Zoe, and... Yeah, they were playing pool, weren't they? They were playing pool, and he was a little passive-aggressive, and then all of a sudden she was asking him questions. Do we have a connection? She wants to know, and he started talking to her in a disrespectful way. Right, but Zoe was, Zoe was adamant. He real. He keeping yeah, it 100. He keeping it 100. Okay. And uh, as a result, I guess, uh, that realness came out, didn't it? Yeah, he, he, I mean, he cussed her out, told her he, she was fake as fudge, and she acted sh shocked and stunned like she never heard that word, be those words string together like that before. Mm-hmm. Like so she's brand new. She's brand new. I, I know that that woman has heard that stuff before. I mean, come on. Well, uh, I would I, tend to I would tend to think, uh, or, and I'm just guessing. I don't know for the circle of people she runs around and, and uh, she was somebody like, told her that. Clutch my point. pearls. This man is out of order, which he was. He, he was definitely out, was. He was out of order. He definitely was. Uh, Katie and came through to she heard Ray's voices and wanted to find out what was going on, mm -hmm. and she quieted uh, Sharice down. Now Jay came over. He started soothing her wounds, and Katie and went to talk with Zoe. Right, right, and I think you know L J did. Uh, he was trying to be the peacemaker in the situation, and right. I, I think he did a good job with uh, with. I guess assuming that role in a difficult situation that happened because I think the the disagreement between Zoe and Therese got out of hand. Right. Especially from Zoe's point of view in terms right. of his behavior. He's a, he's a, um, is he a Q? I have no idea. Well, I, I, whatever I, he but is, that it, it was no good Q, look. Q, Kappa, whatever, it's not a good look for any guy to come to at, talking to a, to woman. Come at a woman like that. And then he and had a pool stick in his hand and he was coming forward. I mean, it's Yeah, it's and he no raised his voice way. or whatever, and it, it was just not a good way to handle it. And then he rolled out, you know, he said. He left. Yeah, after he had talked with Katie, Katie and said that he was keeping it 100, he just walked by and just left. Um, I don't think he offered any any semblance of an apology or anything like that for his his uh, aggressive behavior. That Florida heat could get to you. Yeah, it kind of messed his, messed his mind up a little bit. Guess, anyway, the like, next like the next date we see Samson. He had like a picnic situation, and he invited Luna, Mike, and Brandy, and they were at Sawgrass Mills Park. Right. Yeah. So. Kind of like an old stomping ground, isn't it? Yeah, it, well, it yeah, sure I've was. I've been there before. Been there done before. that. It's yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's a really nice park. It definitely is in Sawgrass Mills, for sure. So it was a perfect place for a picnic. Mm -hmm. Mike and Brandy were getting close. He was dipping grapes in wine and having feeding her grapes and with pineapple, and they were getting close and personal. Mm -hmm. uh, Samson and Luna didn't want to disturb them, so they took a bottle of wine first they played frisbee and mm -hmm. then they had wine on the top yeah i think uh samson like i said and i said this last time but I, i'm going to reiterate it um but i like the way samson is moving he For chooses he, yeah he, that he looks, chooses to spend he, time with right? he looks at her he doesn't put on any pretensive thing he's at, focused as we can see he's focused and you could see Looney mm. was clearly relaxed Ray, you, you messing up Ray. Come and on. enjoying his <laughs> his company yeah, and like I said, he also introduced the, the wine element to the situation. So that just kind of like uh, heightened the fun that they seem to be having. What do you what, think about that? Hmm? What, what are you saying? No, I'm just saying it was a good move to have, you know, not only the, uh, as part of the picnic, the wine and, you know, the frisbee and all that. I think it was a good move, that's all. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was a good move. Yeah. The uh, LJ... Mm -hmm. And Trinica. Right. Mm -hmm. And they looked like they met for drinks. Or and brunch gathering or something. Well, something like yeah. that. I think how that, that part of the conversation came up was that uh, um, she, she mentioned his daughter, asked how she was doing, right? And he said that she was fine and all that. And LJ kind of mentioned that uh, you know his daughter is the love of his life and uh, she's uh, the first priority, right? Right, yeah. and she she liked that because she, she liked that. was raised in a blended family. She mm -hmm. said she gets on well with kids. Kids 
a man with uh, children doesn't bother her and mm. like Cherise. <laughs> Sorry, just had to bring that I'll in. I'll just give me a say. This, this is how you talk to a man with a child, mm -hmm. you know. I'm just saying. Right, and and not and not and not uh, presuming that baggage, he's right? Baggage. The, the kids are baggage. But right. she was really a gracious. She was flirty, like she usually is, mm -hmm. and you know, all went well. Can I give that brother props? Okay. Uh, L. J. was, um, you know, he was on the brink of elimination, right? Right. And he kind of stepped it. Uh, I think he kind of stepped it up a little bit, don't you? Yeah, yeah. They, he had to get rid of some of the island flavor and vibe, maybe pump it up a little bit and mm -hmm. ask more questions. Right, right. Because not everybody accustomed to that simmer flavor the brothers in the islands like to roll with, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. So um, I, I, I'm happy that he stepped up. And yeah, yeah. He was he, charming. Right, and really right. And they had a good date. And like I said, the brother was brother was focused on her and, and you know, it was good. It was right. Good. You know? right. Absolutely. Yeah. So I believe they met the women are now meeting at the ladies' lounge. Ladies with Tommy. lounge. Yep. Uh huh. But prior to that, mm -hmm. Shakira. Go ahead, friend. You got it. Go ahead. Shakira met with Tom. Mm -hmm. One on one. And Shakira was in her confessional saying that. Uh, Kadia took her story and um, voiced it without her regard for her feelings and she expressed that in the presence of one of the men which was uh, Mike. Mike, Mike and she was upset about that because she felt like she was violated and Shakira does not need to be on this show Shakira needs therapy. She's upset that Katie is bringing her business forward. But you have to know that if you present your business and you don't know who you're presenting your business to, trust and believe it's going to be a topic of conversation because you don't know the people who you're telling your most personal and private situation to. So in other words, you're basically what you're saying is she didn't use uh, any discretion in terms of what she chose to reveal to the group. Absolutely. And because it's, because she didn't use it, now she's uh, she's having a, she finds herself in a uh, an uncomfortable position. Uh, she position. feels embarrassed that right. she revealed too much. Right. But the with the age we're living in with social media, everything is out there. But people got to know your business is your business, and you need to keep that close and personal. She's the one that chose to do it. She's the one who chose to right. present it. Right. And case in point, when Randall was checking for her at the white party, mm -hmm. first thing out of her mouth that we can see, and I don't know if it was edited or not, but she still mentioned to Randall that she is not accustomed to a man paying her compliments because he told her she looked beautiful mm -hmm. and that she was accustomed to not being told that that uh, those sentiments. Mm -hmm. And he had to spend the, the rest of the time sort of uh, telling her that she's awesome, she's fine, and all that other stuff. Pumping her up. Basically. Pumping her up. Right. Now, a man could like you, but a man don't want to be your therapist. He does not want a broken wing. So I would think if you are broken, like you look like you are, you need to get some therapy, get some healing first before you try to venture out yeah and put to, yourself out to there to meet mr right right because as long as those issues are seemingly unaddressed from that's her, who you got to attract from her right well well I, what i was going to say was that as long as she doesn't uh, address those issues and does not um does not use better discretion in terms of what she chooses to reveal to a complete stranger she's going to keep uh running into scenarios where people are for lack of a better expression, uh, repelled or put off by, uh, you know, wh how she comes at them. 
and and right because she's almost like accusing Katie of revealing something about her story, and and she's the one who put it out there. You don't know Katie. Katie could Katie. she could Katie and could be a gossip, but yet you told your most private stuff that happened in your life to someone who may be a gossip someone who doesn't care about your sensibility and she did say that's she, why you keep it to yourself right she did say that she kind of felt like uh, she was violated because she thought she was revealing this in the in the in the confines of the ladies lounge and thought it didn't it wouldn't go anywhere but again it gets back to what you were saying about you know, not knowing the people, you know, intimately enough who are in the ladies' lounge to be able to, you know, have that that sense of trust to be able to reveal something like that to them. Listen, it's at strange. one point in all of our lives, um, women or men, we we get broken, mm -hmm. one way or the other. It happens. Right. The only way forward is to find some sort of help, and additionally, you have a boy child at home. Mm -hmm. So you really don't want him to be raised by someone who is reliving uh, a nightmare over and over again when you get triggered. Right. So the best possible thing to do for yourself and for your baby at the house is to value yourself enough to go to someone who can help you professionally to bring that out Deal write it, it down Deal and it. burn it so that never comes to you ever again. Right, because not only would she be helping herself in that situation, but she would also be helping out her son as well. Absolutely. Because he I, will be able to experience a healthy mother. Right, because if that is indeed allowed to go on unaddressed, as it seemingly appears like it has been for a while, at least leading up to her appearance on this show, What's going to happen, I think, is that's who he's going to look for in 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 the form of you know uh, um, the possibility of a of a of a companion. I just think we've got to stop oversharing. Oversharing is overrated. Keep your business to yourself, and and you reveal that to someone close, someone who has your back. Or some profession. Yeah, but women talk, so you know, in some cases, that's going to be kind of hard to deal with. No, but women have good women friends. Yeah. I mean, they're they're women that I hold close, who keep who keep what I tell them, right. and vice versa. Right. It's not like they on you tell them one thing and they're on the computer sharing. Right, right. And there are women out there like that, and right. she, if she wants it, can encounter women like that, not because you're a woman means that you have to um, tell uh, that person all of your business. No, I, no, I wasn't meaning to imply that. I was just suggesting that, that women uh, communicate, and sometimes, you know, uh, unintentionally so, but they do, right? We do, but the, 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 the smart uh, thing to do is to reveal just the, the casual stuff, the surface stuff. Mm -hmm. And you only go deep with your friends. Right, right. That's the best way to handle this. Yeah. Or if you know a conversation stuff is happening, just nod your head and smile at the appropriate <laughs> moment. Hey, yeah, go you know, mm -hmm. and have a glass of wine so you can drink and stop yourself from saying stuff. Right, right. right. Use your tools. Right. <laughs> or don't. Go, go to the old reliables, you right? You better believe yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. And she's too torn up by someone talking about her business that she revealed to go any further. And the men will see that. Yeah. And they're going to be... And the, the men will either go in to exploit or just stay away from that completely. I think they'll be in a position on the, as it relates to this, this show where they're going to stay away from that. So they're in the ladies' lounge. Tommy has this conversation. He said whatever is spoken within the, the confines of the the lounge, lounge stays right. there right but and that that's in relationship to his to meeting what? with Shakira so exactly to him you know in confidentiality yeah. exactly so the two brothers up for elimination was um Mr. Zoe because he cussed out Sharice mm -hmm. and, and Justice, justice mm -hmm. because the king is still on the throne without a, a, a court. He doesn't have a court. <laughs> <laughs>
we ain't gonna do. Hey, but I, I will give the brother a compliment though. He, he, like, he, I like his head like piece, his, man. He, I like his like look, his man. Lid, huh? I like his lid, man. Lid is popping, man. Cracking. I, uh, I'm feeling that. Anyway, um, Brandy. But I'm a lid guy anyway. So, right, you know. I know. Brandy met with, what's his face? <laughs> what's his face has a name. Zo. Zo? The No Show. Zo. No Show Zo. Right. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. No show Zo mm -hmm. and um Come on Fred. Come on Fred. <laughs> Tell you to me. Trinica. Trinica. Yes. Lord have mercy. Trinica. <laughs> she met with Fred Justice. Did they, yo? Yeah. Right? Yeah, what you said. Yeah. And Justice slide through with Trinica. Uh, I I see the brother was flirting with her for a minute. Yeah, he was uh, he was having um, a difficulty, you know, maintaining that eye contact. Sonika will do that to you. Yeah, yeah. and what and what'd you say she needed to do? She needed some undergarments. <laughs> she needed some support. That you don't wear. She got some thunder, <laughs> <laughs> and there need to be some. Well, I know one thing. If, 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 if to go along with the analogy, Justice was damn sure struck. He said at one point he owes her dinner, and he said they can go to his spot because he doesn't have to pay for it. There's something up with this brother about pay. I don't understand why and he, he would got, come back with that like, as a response. He always you know, does. He want, to, does he want women to know how damn cheap he is? My God. Uh, I'm just like, and and how does he think that that's going to attract somebody? Does the brother realize that when women are present, you need to spend some money? <laughs> Did he get that memo? No, he missed that course altogether, oh registration God. for it and everything. Somebody please help him. Uh, don't Once know. Once there's a woman involved, you got to spend you're gonna, some. You're going to be coming out your pocket with some, some cheddar. Best belief. No question. So if you ain't trying to get used to that idea, get used to being by your damn self. The kingdom does not have a court. Mm. So was a no show because he didn't show up for, so Bradley could tell her. She had dinner. She waited over maybe 45 minutes. And then she said she and out. And she fired. out. She out. And before we taping now, I saw a little blurb on the YouTube that Zoe was with his girlfriend. <laughs> Stunting. He was stunting, wasn't he? Well, I don't know. I, Taking, I, stunting, I don't know, but... Clowning, whatever. Oh. Maybe Zoe was embarrassed. Um, I don't get that sense that he was embarrassed by by what transpired between uh, him and Cherise. I, I don't get that. I I just think that maybe he got uh, got to a point where he didn't he didn't feel like or didn't didn't want to participate in the process any longer. Okay. And for whatever reasons, uh, he's just like I'm I'm gone deuces. So oh, um, Cherise did have a barbecue, but I will caution the sister that she may just play herself she, because. So you saying so you saying she may be the next one on the grill? Yeah. Yeah, because all, unexpectedly, all the brothers can sense ugly when they when they Ooh. hear it. Oh, and yeah. let me say that again: a man can sense ugly when he hears it. Yep. Am I lying? No, you got a witness. Oh, okay. You got a witness. So that's all we have for today. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Please click that notification button and send us your comments, because you know. It's always good to talk about stuff. And ladies, if a man doesn't call you back, you not ask him why he hasn't called you. It's not a good look. He's telling you something. Just take it, swallow it, drink some water, and keep it moving. Because the right man is out there for you. Be blessed because you are. Bye-bye. See you.